Now usually in Windows you have your volume control down here, uh, which you're able to control there. And if you want to look at your uh, different devices, you can do that. However, if you really want to get into it, you would go here and you would say, open up your mixing. And usually you have speakers and you have system. But you notice here I have my recording software that I'm recording this video with. Uh, Bandicam is listed. And that's because now all apps that are actively using audio are now listed with their own volume control. Uh, so that's what we're going to take a look at now. I'm going to go over here and launch a uh, TV capture device that I have installed on my system. Now it's showing uh, Max Payne here uh, in there. And it has uh, its own window and everything, but you notice it has a volume control down here. Uh, but I'm going to launch another thing. I'm going to launch Internet Explorer. Have you noticed any side effects? Do, 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 do. And I'm going to go out to my website and find one of my videos. I apologize. Okay. So here I am rambling on about some uh, the update for the 360 videos. Okay, so I have both those running now uh, on the system. So there's two of them. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open up uh, yet another app. I'm going to go down here to iHeartRadio and click on it. And it comes up, and you'll see that down in the lower right-hand corner, uh, I'm going to get even another column as soon as it finishes initializing. So here I am in Hard Radio. Now, I had to mute the song on this because of a copyright claim. So you can't actually hear the difference. But if you come down here, you'll see that I can uh, move the scroll bar around here till I get to the apps. I can control by dragging them up or down increasing or decreasing the volume uh, depending upon what I want to listen to at what level. So normally I have to, if I want to click on a different application, I have to go down and find its controls and do all that. But right here again, I'm just controlling it by moving the sliders up and down, uh, letting people hear uh, what they hear uh, by uh, manipulating the controls in one easy to get to place. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up one more application and you'll see that if I, as I bring up Microsoft Windows Movie and TV, it's in its small mode over there with no volume controls, but I can't go down here. I can adjust its volume accordingly uh, with all the other apps and everything. Again, now you have a one-stop center uh, that you can just control your apps. You can switch between stuff, mute something, go watch something, come back, turn on the other one all within your Windows 10 interface.